Welcome, welcome back everybody to the Cirque Show 24-7 and this is the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Comic-Con trailer. So, let's get right into it. Alright guys, this trailer was anticipated. It was one of these trailers that I wanted to see when Comic-Con was rolling around. And man, this trailer did not disappoint. You talk about cutting together a trailer to, you know, silence the people who had... Um, who didn't believe in this movie or who didn't uh, who, who wasn't really on board with uh, this concept and the way the direction is going and the casting this trailer just kind of shut up all the kind of haters in my opinion because it had everything you wanted. it had a, a great great uh, story it, it it gives you that emotion it ties in everything together when it comes to Man of Steel and I think what this trailer does really really good that I'm hoping the movie does is that this trailer um, if you hated Man of Steel which I was I was never a person who hated Man of Steel I was one of the people that actually really really loved Man of Steel and I think it's one of the, the greatest uh, superhero movies of all time um for certain reasons but if you're one of those people who, who didn't um like man still for certain um aspects like the uh too much uh damage and you know too just too much destruction and stuff like that this trailer you know opens your eyes like oh this is why they did that and it just brings it all together and it ties everything just so so uh well um the fact that you have like a brand new character in holly hunter's character as she's like the senator and she's kind of uh giving like crap to superman she's telling she's telling people like yo he's here to destroy our our, our world we shouldn't trust him we shouldn't put our faith in him and you know, you know, Superman's got to take all this from all these people who who don't believe him and who are afraid of him. But at the same time, he's dealing with people who 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 worship him, who who sees him as his beacon of hope and stuff like that. So it, just that aspect in in it alone, just seeing that how the world views uh, Superman, you know, like they either love him or they hate him, and it's not really no in between. It's just very fascinating to me. And then when you add in. Um, what really sold me on this trailer, uh, other than the Superman stuff, was that one shot where, you know, you see that moment in Man of Steel where, you know, Zod is shooting, shooting his lasers through the building and stuff. But then you, you see the opposite end of that, the outside part of it, and where um, Bruce Wayne was there. And just having him, ha not even having Batman, having Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne run to the building run right into the, the danger while other people are running away from it. That one moment had me so like, that's what Bruce Wayne would do. Not Batman, but that's what Bruce Wayne would do. He would just go out there and do it without even hesitating, without even thinking about the danger that lies in front of him uh, just to save someone. And that that's just a powerful moment to me in that trailer where you see Bruce Wayne running straight to the danger to you know to save people even if it's just one person um just to save that one person it was, it was just a great great moment and then you find out that oh that building that zod uh and you know um superman fight in that was wayne tower or that was one of the wayne buildings um so it's a reason why batman should be pissed it's a reason why bruce wayne should be pissed and ben affleck just exudes all that frustration all that anger all that fear all in one like moment when you see him looking at the building tore down just that emotion that you see in his face just anger frustration uh just being afraid just everything in that one moment so being like that's bruce wayne and that and i can believe that's bruce wayne and i can believe that's batman uh so just great little moments in this trailer it just had me super super excited um we do get our first look at Jesse Eisenberg as uh, Lex Luthor, and um, I really, really loved it. Uh, people are so up in arms the way he looks right now with the, you know, the the hair and stuff. And I, I don't really care. And the reason I don't really care because we all know some somewhere in between that movie, he's gonna get the bald head. Just a matter of fact, how is it gonna be radiation poison from kryptonite? I don't know. It's gonna happen. I like the way he, he he talks. I like the way he he seems very very slimy and sneaky and very 
villainous and he, he but he seems like he's somebody who can outthink he can't you, we already know he can't outpower batman or superman but he can he can damn sure outthink them and outwit them and stuff and that's when i'm really looking forward to um his um portrayal of lex luther because uh, my favorite lex luther ever has never been from a movie it's always my favorite um and um adaptation of Lex Luthor has been from the animated series. I thought that's the best way to put Lex Luthor um on screen. Um and we're never gonna probably get that. So having like this new take, having like this like young, young man who has all this money, kind of like a Facebook type of mogul type of guy, but just very villainous, is I feel like it's it's interesting, it's cool, and I don't really care how how his hair looks. Yeah, it looks stupid, but I don't care about that. I, they got they have a fine actor to do it, um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how he uh, portrays him. Um, but yeah, it was just a, a great look for um, Lex Luthor for me, and just the way he acts, and just great little moments of him, like you know, just showing that oh, he has something up his sleeve, and he's gonna use certain people to pit each other against. Batman or Superman, and just have that 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 um that conflict in between each other. So it was really really good. I do love the whole Martha Kent uh, speech where she was talking to Superman like you're you're basically you're a great man. You don't um and I love you. You don't owe these people anything. You can choose to help them um if you want to, but you don't owe them anything. So um don't beat yourself up about it. And a lot of people I saw in comments like, oh, Martha Kent wouldn't say that. And that's like how um, Jonathan Kent and Man of Steel was saying like, oh, you shouldn't save those people. Um, you really should have just let that kid die. And I always just took it as, you have to think about it this way. This is their child. If you had a child and he was going through like this this type of thing, you wouldn't want your child to uh, put himself in danger. Um, and that's how I see it with the Martha Kent thing and the Jonathan Kent speech. Like they're looking at it as this is my child. I want to protect him. And I don't give a damn about him. This is my child. And um, I, I just like that moment because that's what a mother would do. Um, and that's what a mother would say to her child that she loves and wants to protect and who, and who she's worried about. She would say stuff to protect him and not really give a lot of crap about anybody else. You know what I mean? Cause that's her son. So I, I really like that moment where she says like, you are a great man. Um, you can choose to help these people, but you don't have to. It's, it's, you're, it's not your obligation. Um, so it, it's just going to be, I think, Overall, a great, great movie. A lot of great action beats in it. We we get our first look, people. Uh, another great moment, probably this, the, the high, probably the second highlight of this trailer for me was you had the first highlight was just Bruce Wayne running into the the um the danger and into the destruction. But the second, just seeing that first first look at Gal uh, Gadot as Wonder Woman in full costume, doing a few little action parts just just that's an important moment in superhero uh, uh movies that's that's going to be an important moment when you first see her uh when you first see wonder woman live action in a movie i feel like that's going to be a very important moment in superhero movies and it was a great moment in this trailer just seeing her uh she didn't have no speaking lines or anything but the the moments we see of her i really really like um it looks like she's gonna have a pretty important role and probably not too big of a role but she's gonna have a pretty important role i'm hoping that her role uh in this is kind of like how the hulk's role in the first avengers were where he wasn't in it that much but when he was in it he made it count and that's what you took away from that that movie was oh man the hulk was pretty badass in that movie and that's what i'm hoping for wonder woman just to have those little uh moments where she just stands out uh better than anyone that's on screen with her and um it looks like she's gonna have great great moments so i was really really excited to see her um and this that was one of the reasons why I'm I'm really on board with this movie. Not just the Batman versus Superman aspect, but having Wonder Woman in here and having that that Trinity effect in this movie is 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 a big moment. Um so overall I really, really enjoyed this uh trailer. I thought it did everything it was supposed to do uh in a trailer to get people hyped, get people to understand like this is the moment this is what we're going for. Um we're doing it a lot different from Marvel um and that's why I like DC movies probably better than Marvel. And don't get me wrong, I love Marvel movies, but I like DC movies because they, they see 
uh, they put real emotion and aspects through certain uh, things that they do. And it's not always fun in games. They do have funny moments, but it's not always fun in games. And that's why I like DC movies. And that's why I'm super excited about this. So what do you guys think about this uh, trailer? Please like this video, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought. 